You gotta be kidding me. Daniel! Daniel! Wake up! What? What are you doing? I... I don't know. You're just laying around the house all day long. What happened? I just... I don't have any other ideas. I don't know what else to do. You were recording videos, you were doing art on a regular basis, and now look at you. Can you at least try to help out around the house? Like, paint the walls, paint some doors, anything. For this project, the first step was removing the door. This would prove to be a lot more difficult than I thought. This door came equipped with double action spring hinges. That translates to an absolute nightmare. The top one had a surprising amount of torque that would make me regret this process later come time to put the door back on. The doors were brought to our dungeon chamber workbench. It was then coated with primer and sealer after being completely stripped. Then came time to put the door back on. This turned out to be far more difficult than we could handle, so we had to improvise. I got some straps from my truck, wrapped them around my body and the door to give me more control and leverage while Danielle would go to war with those hinges. Then finally, it was time to break out the paint. I'm just going to have some fun with the editing here. We also discovered that the shutter speed of the camera that we record with is really good at capturing the flicker of the lights. First I started with the light blue paint that we bought. Then I move on to mix it with a darker blue to get that gradient going up the door towards the night sky. Then I take the straight black paint and then blend that down mixing it with the previous blue paint. Then as we transition to paint the outer layer of the door we just put some painter tape around the background and then go at it. Now it's time to put my sketch on the door. I pre-planned this art on my iPad, and now I'm just using graphite pencil to transfer it to the canvas. After finishing the sketch, I got some gesso and used that as a foundation. I would end up using acrylic paint for this art, which is semi-transparent. Something like yellow paint especially, on top of the black paint, would not work out.
in some of these shots, you can see the sunlight moving across the background of the room, which I think is funny because it kind of illustrates to me how long it felt like it was taking to do this project. The time taken was made longer by the constant paint mixing, having to get up and down, go back and forth, and swap the brushes and swap the paint. In some ways, I tried to jump between areas of the door to limit how many times I would have to clean my brush, swapping between the different colors. As I was painting one of our cats in the UFO, he decided he really wanted a lot of attention, crawling all over me. At some point, our other cat came over for some attention as well. I picked her up and then I was going to bring her over to the couch and I noticed that her tail had flicked into the pallet that I was carrying. And then at the same time, while I was trying to put down the art supplies, I spilled the paint all over myself and the cat went running off through the house. I started yelling for my wife to try and catch her before she painted everything else in the house. She didn't really like the bath that she got, but she survived. When I was done with the painting, I did one final step, which is to apply a coat of varnish to protect it. Let's see how it all turned out. A lot better than I... That's why I'm frustrated because I can't cut that. We took something that's about 100 years old, or truthfully, I don't actually know how old the door is. It's taken a long time to get here, but I'm very happy with what we... It's taken a long time to get this done. In total, it took about five months from the time that I started doing sketches to plan this out to where we are now, but I think we have something really cool. This is a beautiful addition to our art room as things are coming together. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And while you're doing that, I'm just gonna leave you with some fun videos that we were doing for the opening skit of this. And thank you for watching.
Let's see what he does. Pretend to be dead. Here comes the cat. Let me kill. You need a Cheeto. Fuck. <laughs>